Hi you folks, Gord Pizer here. And what I want to talk about today, I think you're going to find it every bit as fascinating as I do. And that is, how old are the fish that we're catching? You know, I've got folks out with me in the boat in the open water season, and, and many times I've got folks out on the ice with me when we're ice fishing. And invariably when we pull a fish in, someone will say over the course of the day, how old do you think that walleye is, or how old do you think that yellow perch is? Uh, I'll usually say, what do you think? And, and folks start to guess, and sometimes they'll say, you know, I bet that's five years old, or it's 12 years old. And sometimes people will say, you know, maybe it's 20 or 25 years old. Here's the point. If it's a member of the perch family, Perkins, and that includes uh, yellow perch, uh, walleye, and saugers, it's absolutely easy, so, so easy, to determine the age of the fish. And I'm going to show you today how to do it. Now, before I do that, many, many times, I'm sure, again, you've been fishing, and you've probably been stopped by uh, uh, fisheries technicians or maybe conservation officers, and they'll ask you, how many fish did you catch today, and uh, how long have you been fishing? And that's all to determine how fast fish are growing in the lake, uh, uh, at what age are they maturing, and it gives the uh, fisheries managers a chance to assess what the population and the growth rates are for that lake. As well, when they're checking your fish, usually what they'll say to you, do you mind if we take a scale sample? And so they'll scrape a couple scales off and put them in an envelope, and many, many times as well, what they will do on a, on a walleye in particular is they'll take the dorsal fin up like this, a pair of pliers, and they'll just take one of those fin rays off. They're called bony structures. And what you can do with any bony structure on a fish, uh, by and large, is determine its age. I'm going to show you the way for perkids, members of the perch family, so that includes yellow perch, walleyes, and saugers. I'm going to show you how easy it is to determine how old that fish is. So, first of all, there's a yellow perch, and it's about 12 and a half, 13 inches long, and there's a walleye that's just a nice eater walleye, uh, about 14 inches or so. How old do you think those fish are? Caught them on Lake of the Woods. As I'm showing you the rest, you think, how old do you think those fish are? Now, here's how you determine the age of a member of the perch family, yellow perch, walleye, or sauger. Here's how easy it is to do. Let's do it first on the yellow perch. Okay, I've got this yellow perch here, beautiful little 14-inch, uh, 13 and a half inch yellow perch, makes for magnificent eating. And what I'm going to do is remove the bony structure and the structure that you want, and it's like aging a, a piece of cut wood off a tree. The structure that you want from the fish is called the opercle bone, and it's nothing more than the gill flap. And, and the opercle bone, to easily find the area that you want on perch and walleyes and saugers, if you've ever caught one of those, you know that if you just grab it, it'll flare its gills out. And it's got a very sharp, almost razor sharp uh, piece on the gill flap here. And that's over top of the area you want to remove. So you want to remove, in effect, the gill plate here. Simply take your knife, put it underneath the gill flap, and just cut away gently and use your fingers to a little bit of pressure, exert just a little bit of pressure, and then again take your knife, and there I've removed the gill, the gill flap. And this is the area, that's the, the area that you want to remove. So I've removed there. Now take this little, this kind of flappy section, very, very thin, and just cut it away. And you'll see how easy, again, that is to remove. You can actually pull it off with your fingers. Now, there's the gill flap. That's the, that's the piece of structure that you want. And believe it or not, all you do now is take that. I've got a, a pan of hot water here. I'll take my pot of hot water and I'll put it in there and just let it sit for 20, 30 seconds. And because there's no flesh there, it's simply skin, uh, it just sits in that hot water for a second or two and it almost like it peels. And then I'll take the, the uh, bony structure and I'll take my fingers 
and I'll just peel off the skin here. And what you wind up with, I'll just pick it away, pick it away, and what I wind up with is something that looks almost like a piece of glass. Again, I'll just wash that off. And I, I wind up with this opercle bone. Now, last thing you need to do, take the opercle bone, put it on the windowsill for 24 hours. I'll come back tomorrow, pick up this bone, and I'll show you how old that yellow perch is. In fact, I can start to see it already, but in 24 hours, just sitting on the windowsill and drying, once the, uh, once the bone dries, and it'll go fairly opaque, you just take that little piece there, put it on the windowsill, it's going to go opaque, and tomorrow we're going to know how old that yellow perch is. All right, I'm going to do the very same thing now again with this uh, walleye. And what I do is I look for that little uh, razor blade over top of the opercle bone, and then I just lift up the gill flap, take my knife, and then just ever so gently cut behind it. And then I cut underneath that little razor blade area. And then when you do that, and again, a little bit of, little bit of pressure there, I remove the opercle bone, the gill plate. And there's the area, the gill plate again. I take that, I put it back in my pot of hot water, and I let it sit for a couple of minutes. There's no flesh there whatsoever, and that hot water just makes it peel back. It uh, peels back, and it's ever so easy to take it off. And it's quite amazing. As you can see, when I show you here, What you wind up with is it almost looks like a piece of glass. And again, I'm going to take that piece of glass from this walleye, I'm going to put it on the windowsill there, and tomorrow I'm going to come back, I'll turn on the camera, we'll take a look at this, and we'll know how old that 14-inch walleye is. Oh, I can see those rings though right now, but putting it on the windowsill, come back tomorrow, in the meantime, you start thinking about how old was that 13-inch perch? How old is that 13, 14-inch walleye? We'll compare notes tomorrow. Well, it may not have seemed like 24 hours passed us by, but trust me, it did. And I've got the two opercle bones right here, one from the perch and the other from the walleye. Now, it's hard to see uh, from the camera, so what I did is I put these under the scanner. I put them on my scanner. Uh, you can do the very same thing, actually, and then you've got a paper record of them. Just put them on your scanner or put them on a photocopier. And in some cases, they're actually even easier to see. But let's take a look now, a real close-up microscopic look at these two opercle bones and see how old those fish were. Now, here's the opercle bone from the yellow perch and it shows us many, many fascinating things. Uh, first of all, it looks very, very similar to if you'd cut down a small tree and you can see the growth rings in a tree. And just like the growth rings in a tree, uh, here you'll see white lines, uh, individual white lines going across. And each one of those white lines, that's actually the winter period. See how tight they are? And below those white lines, there's a very large dark area. And that's the uh, summer growth. Here, we'll take a look when we can see now, we can see that this is an, a seven-year-old fish. When that yellow perch comes in, or if it had come in to spawn in the spring this year, it would be coming in as an eight-year-old fish. Now, you always age from the bottom of the structure up, just like you can see here. And I might have missed a year of growth in that, uh, in that uh, very bottom area between the bottom and where it shows as number one there. It's always a little tricky in that first year or so. But the other thing you see is how fast that fish was growing. Look how fast it grew in the first year, the second year, the third, and the fourth. Now as it's getting much older, as it gets to be a five, six, and a seven-year-old, it's growing much, much more slowly. But nevertheless, that's an eight-year-old yellow perch, 
and it just shows you how long these fish live in our cold, clear uh, Canadian waters. Now, let's take a look at the walleye opercle bone. Now, here's the opercle bone from the walleye, and it shows many, many of the same sorts of things. Uh, first of all, perch and walleye uh, spawn in the spring. They tend to spawn in April, May here on Lake of the Woods. So uh, this April or May, uh, the walleye would have been a five-year-old. It's in its fourth year right now, and it would, its birthday would have been in April or May this year, and it would have been five years of age. It was immature. It hadn't spawned yet, and that, again, isn't uh, uncommon on Lake of the Woods. Males tend to spawn at uh, four to five years of age and walleyes tend to be mature when they're females at five to six. The females always mature or tend to mature one year later. It's always why uh, there's more males on the spawning ground, young males, than there are females. But again, look too how quickly this fish grew in its first year of life uh, between those first two bars. And it was still very, very quickly growing as a two-year-old. It slowed down a little bit as a three and even more as a four. And again, that's not uncommon. But it just shows you how the amazing things you can see uh, when you take the opercle bones off of a yellow perch or a walleye. Uh, just clean them as I've shown you, put them out, and let them dry for a day or two. And they'll show you their fascinating life cycles. They'll show you how fast they're growing, how old they are, and how they're tightening up and, and growing much slower as they get older. Now, I'll leave you with one last thought, and that is do not kill a fish simply to know how old it is. But if you keep a walleye for sure lunch or you bring it home, and the same with the yellow perch, it's always fascinating to take those opercle bones off and see how old those fish are. Opens up a whole new uh, fascinating insight into the lives of fish. And the other thing you'll do, depending on where you are uh, in northern Ontario or central Ontario or southern Ontario, it'll show you in different waters how quickly fish are growing or how slowly they're growing, and if you happen to notice if they've got egg sacs in them, whether they're mature or immature, you'll be able to see the different uh, growth rates uh, from north to south and how fast those fish are growing. By and large, though, they're, they're much older than we think they are, and it really opens up a fascinating insight into their lives.